You asked a bit of a problem that I've discovered in the course of my experimenting with Solarts, which could possibly be a major issue, is grid peak shaving. Now that I've got it set to 4.6 kilowatts, because due to limitations on how this property is wired, this thing is running on a 20 ampere circuit, because that's what's available in the garage. And so, to reduce the risk of that breaker getting inadvertently tripped by loads, this is set to 4.6 kilowatts, so that any excess beyond that will come off of the batteries, because this thing has uh, like over 30 kilowatt hours of battery hooked up to it at the you know 50% depth of discharge level, it's 61 kilowatt hours nameplate. Well, the problem is, if you turn on the grid peak shaving, it turns on time of use. What's the problem with time of use? Well, it's going to start pulling electricity from my batteries, and I don't want that because the batteries are for purposes of emergency backup. So yeah, this is a major issue, depending on use case, that needs to be fixed with the uh, Solark series of inverters. Those two really need to be forked. Same way that the frequency shifting and operating mode of the generator connection on the Solark need to be forked as well, so that way this will frequency shift to trip AC coupled inverters offline without needing the generator port being in uh, AC coupled inverter mode which has been something I've been complaining about for like two years and another issue which can be a problem depending on your application is the load meter if your AC coupling into the solar and it's providing more electricity than it's being used by the loads well, this meter doesn't show that electricity is coming from the load, you know, which effectively it is. It just zeroes out. And so having the ability for this meter to display power flow in both directions, very important. So those are just a couple of issues that I've discovered, you know, in the course of two years with these things. But I mean, yeah, they're decent inverters. It's just that they've got certain things which may or may not be gigantic clangers, depending on your use case. 